Hi, my name is Alain Muse. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer for the Municipality of Argyle. Thanks for watching our first video around boundary review. Our second video is to introduce the options that are selected by our Council, being seven districts and nine districts for your consideration. But before we get into that, what I'd like to do is explain how a councillor actually provides value to our resident. I think that's a critical piece in order to make an informed decision. So that is divided in four different categories. Now the first is local representation, represented by this colour. The local representation is how a councillor deals with requests, complaints, concerns voiced by you, the resident. So that can be at any given day, and it can be on a variety of different topics. So the resident may not necessarily know where to bring the complaint, and the counselor's role and responsibility is to make sure the right people hear your concern. And that represents about 30% of their time. The second area that council works for you is in governance. And what that means is, quite simply, council meetings. Council meets twice a month in a te televised environment and they work as a team to prioritize and set policy and set strategy for the municipality for the betterment of its citizens. And that's represented by this colour and represents about 25% of their time. The third area of focus is working committees. Working committees are, are also meetings of council but they are not televised, they are subcommittees of council. They include planning and advisory, they include emergency management, Nikhil Home for Special Care, uh, and, and many other examples around uh, providing local Argyle service. But they work not only with council, they also work with community members. And that takes about 25% of their time and is also to benefit the region of Argyle. And the last area of their focus is regional and provincial committees. Uh, these are committees that have been either created or shared with other municipal units, some of them in Yarmouth County, some of them beyond. Examples of regional committees would include the Yarmouth and Acadian Shores Tourism Association, economic development initiatives are done regionally, uh, Waste Check and our landfill are owned and managed regionally, and they're, they're owned and managed regionally because it was in the better interest uh, from a cost perspective or it is that important that the entire region needs to be um, making decisions around that initiative. So your councillors are representing you, but they're also representing a broader mandate regionally or provincially. And that takes about 20% of their time. So in summary, this is a representation of what Council does for you. Now that we know what our councillors do for you, we want to go back to our options. Our first option is nine districts. That represents status quo. Nine districts, nine councillors, dividing the tasks equally. So regardless of what option is selected, this represents the bulk of what municipal councillors do for you. Now let's talk about how council came to their decision of selecting seven and nine as appropriate districts and councillors for your review. In its initial discussion, council decided that perhaps it should look at five. Five represented a drastic change. It, it was also an odd number, and that was significant to council because council didn't want a situation where votes were ending up as a tie. And so when they looked at five, they discussed a variety of factors. And so let's take a look at what the work would look like if five councillors were effect effectively doing the work. What you see here is what council concluded would happen, is that we would fill the brim for five councillors yet there would still be work left undone. 
So based on what you see here, the option of five counselors was off the table. So council decided they would look at two other options. One we've already explained was status quo, but the second option is seven. And so what we'll do here is visually depict what seven might look like for you. So council decided that five is not an option. It did decide, however, that seven is a viable option. However, it couldn't be sure that the tasks of nine counselors could be done completely by seven counselors. And this is where your input is desired. This is actually a high level explanation of what council, how council made this decision. Uh, more information and detail can be found at www.monargyle.com and the next steps which include community consultations, the dates of which will be listed on our website. Thank you very much for your attention.